Hello friends, myself Aradi Mazan presenting my video on beta gamma function, the point reduction formula in terms of beta gamma function. And to find that reduction formula in terms of beta gamma function, uh, we take the prop help of property for beta function. We know that uh, beta of mn is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin theta raised to 2m minus 1 cos theta raised to 2n minus 1 and its integration with respect to theta and to obtain that uh, we put let that 2m minus 1 as p it implies the value of m as p plus 1 by 2 and second term 2n minus 1 as q and therefore we get the value of n as q plus 1 by 2 and therefore that equation 1 becomes uh, from equation 1 we have integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin theta raised to 2m minus 1 but 2m minus 1 is p therefore it becomes sin theta raised to p multiplied by cos theta raised to 2n minus 1 it becomes cos theta raised to q and its integration with respect to theta is equals to transferring this 2 to other side we get 1 by 2 times beta of m n and that is equals to 1 by 2 times beta of m n the value of m is p plus 1 by 2 and the value of n is q plus 1 by 2 and then uh, we use the relation between beta and gamma function we know this relation uh, beta of mn is equals to gamma m gamma n divided by gamma m plus n uh, this result is known and therefore applying this result we get this is equals to uh, 1 by 2 times beta of mn is gamma m uh, here it is gamma of p plus 1 by 2 gamma of n means gamma of q plus 1 by 2 and divided by uh, sum of these two therefore sum of these two is it is gamma of p plus 1 by 2 plus q plus 1 by 2 and simplifying it further we get that reduction formula as 1 by 2 times gamma of p plus 1 by 2 gamma of q plus 1 by 2 divided by p plus q by 2 and 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 we get plus 1 and this is called as the reduction formula is the reduction formula in terms of beta and gamma function uh, very simple proof uh, we take the help of this property for uh, beta function and then substituting 2m minus 1 as p 2n minus 1 as q we get the values of m and n and then applying that relation between beta and gamma function beta of m n is nothing but gamma m gamma n divided by gamma m plus n whatever the result we have that result is called as the uh, reduction formula in terms of beta gamma function therefore I will discuss uh, two simple examples based on this uh, reduction formula uh, let us see the first problem evaluate integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin theta raised to 4 cos theta raised to 6 and its integration with respect to theta uh, we try to apply this reduction formula therefore comparing these two results here we have the value of p as 
4 and the value of q as 6 and by reduction formula by reduction formula we call that as integral i as 1 by 2 uh, gamma p plus 1 by 2 here the value of p is 4 plus 1 by 2 gamma q plus 1 by 2 6 plus 1 by 2 and divided by gamma of p plus q 6 plus 4 we get 10 by 2 plus 1 and then simplifying it further we get that value as 1 by 2 uh, it becomes gamma 5 by 2 this becomes gamma 7 by 2 and divided by uh, gamma 5 plus 1 and to obtain the value of any gamma we have to convert it in terms of gamma n plus 1 as if it is not positive integer its value is n into gamma n or it is n factorial if it is positive integer and therefore first of all I will rewrite this 5 by 2 as gamma n plus 1 means it is 3 by 2 plus 1 we get that 5 by 2 and this 7 by 2 as 5 by 2 plus 1 and this 5 plus 1 where n is 5 positive integer and its value is n factorial and therefore the value is here 5 factorial uh, simplifying it further uh, gamma n plus 1 is n gamma n applying it till we get the term of gamma 1 by 2 therefore this 3 by 2 plus 1 I can rewrite as 3 by 2 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2 multiplied by this gamma 5 by 2 plus 1 I can rewrite as 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 and divided by uh, 5 factorial it is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 okay and therefore it becomes 1 by 2 times uh, uh, simplifying it further uh, this 3 cancel with 3 uh, gamma 1 by 2 is root pi and again gamma 1 by 2 is root pi uh, 5 cancel with 5 uh, remaining terms are 1 by 2 as it is uh, this product 2 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 and divided by uh, into the remaining term remaining term is 4 to the 8 and therefore if we simplify this product we get that final answer as uh, 3 root pi into root pi as 3 pi and this product 2 into 32 64 64 into 8 we get that value as 512 as the value or the answer for this uh, definite integral obtained using reduction formula in terms of beta gamma function uh, one more I will second example evaluate integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin theta raised to 2 into cos theta raised to 3 using this beta gamma function and therefore to evaluate it we compare and get the values of p and q here we get the value of p as 2 and q as 3 uh, using reduction formula we get integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin theta is to 2 cos theta is to 3 and its integration with respect to theta as 1 by 2 gamma p plus 1 by 2 the value of p is here 2 therefore it become 2 plus 1 by 2 
gamma q plus 1 by 2 it is gamma 3 plus 1 by 2 and divided by gamma of p plus q uh, 2 plus 3 we get 5 by 2 and plus this one and then simplifying it further we get it is 1 by 2 uh, this one is gamma 3 by 2 uh, this become 4 by 2 it is gamma 2 divided by gamma 7 by 2 uh, we keep this as gamma 5 by 2 plus 1 as we need in the form of gamma n plus 1 this I will rewrite as 1 by 2 as it is uh, whenever we require to find the value of gamma we have to rewrite it as in the form of gamma n plus 1 therefore 3 by 2 I can write as 1 by 2 plus 1 gamma 2 as 1 plus 1 and divided by gamma 5 by 2 plus 1 and then it is equals to uh, 1 by 2 gamma n plus 1 is n gamma n if it is not positive integer and therefore it is 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2 the value of gamma n plus 1 where n is 1 positive integer its value is n factorial therefore its value is 1 factorial divided by uh, 5 by 2 plus 1 gamma 5 by 2 plus 1 we rewrite it as 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2 uh, gamma 1 by 2 cancel with gamma 1 by 2 we get that value as 1 upon uh, it becomes 8 divided by 2 to the 4 multiplied by 5 to the 15 and therefore the value is 2 by 15 as the answer uh, value of this definite integral by applying this reduction formula in terms of beta and gamma function is 2 by 15 therefore in this video I have discussed two simple examples how we can apply this uh, reduction formula in terms of beta and gamma function uh, one more problem we will discuss in my next video uh, if you like my video please share it as well as subscribe to my channel to receive a notification for my new videos for that you have to press the bell icon Thank you. Thank you for watching.